Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Today we're playing Team Z. It's uh, early access on Steam. This game has had a lot of a bumpy road, we'll put it that way, bumpy road. Same with um, the videos that I've made for it so far. Um, it, it had some game-breaking stuff for me, uh, namely that the environment was so sticky and there was so much friction between the player and any object that it took about five times the amount of keystrokes uh, just to manipulate the controls like you'd expect. And so... Uh, basically, you know, after sitting here for so long playing it, um, I mean, this sounds lame, but my hand would hurt and I'd have to stop. So it was like about 30 minutes a few times a day was the maximum that I could play it. I don't know about you, but if I get into a game, I don't want, uh, I, I want to be able to play it a little bit, you know, get into it, get my, get my teeth into it. So, um, anyway, I left this like huge review on Steam, uh, over 700 words and I, uh, directly addressed the developer. Um, he was very friendly and uh, straightforward. He got most of the bugs worked out um, in a couple of days. And then I went to play. I made a video um, a few days ago, and that was after all the fixes. And then there was one major, literally game-breaking thing. This unicorn cosplay girl here, she got killed. Watch out, kid. By that... This uh, could be smashed. By that elevator right there. So, anyhow, nice. uh, this is uh, just a new game. Um, see, hopefully, if we can talk to her before she gets killed by that thing. Where am I? Uh, she's down right there, which is a safe spot for her to be down, really. Um, and so this game is... I've described it so many times, but it's basically, it's a very unique, um, zombie survival game. So we just woke up, um, on this bed. And you can kind of, like, read descriptions and stuff here, but it was a car accident. Uh, we woke up here, we have amnesia. And then, um, like that Star Wars esque intro, where the the words are rolling up the screen off into infinity. Um, that thing, I'm just paraphrase it. That thing told us that I feel much smarter. Uh, there are now. zombies in the world, more zombies than humans, um, and they were created by um, the COVID vaccine that was discovered that went awry. And so here we are, left to our own uh, wits and imagination. To sort this all out, um, our objective here is to, I mean, kind of like the grand scope of everything, is we need to talk to people, figure out why we're here, um, and intermittently do quests for them, find random objects, and uh, things like that, until eventually we can leave, which I'm assuming is through this door over here. Um, we get these waves of zombies that come in um, through these random holes and entrance points like this. Uh, we find materials to plug them up or blow them up or whatever have you. And, um, yeah, so let's get going here. So, there are a few things here. Um, we kind of, like, wander around this area. We find weapons. So, I, I knew where this crowbar was. This is, like, my fourth or fifth time starting a game. So, everything is kind of fresh up to a certain point. And so, um, yeah, crowbars are for hitting things. So, that's what we're doing. I'm going to revive her because it says on the right side, where no am I? Problem. Talk to the little girl. Find out who you are, where you are. So we'll talk to her. Hey, what's up? Uh, let's see. Where am I? That's, yeah, that's my question. Hi, hi. You don't know where you are. Ha, ha. You are in the maybe market. You are the mister that had that accident. Don't you remember? A accident? You really don't remember it, huh? Well, the villagers of this town found you next to your car. You hit a big tree. Didn't someone teach you how to drive Tss, my uncle john drives way better than you okay um we'll ask who she is i am rosie they call me little rosie here and i'm already pretty big yeah no joke that was kind of interesting interesting point there rosie um let's see you were fighting dead people can i help you you look upset i lost my teddy bear okay um, a teddy bear, huh? Yes, my teddy. I think I lost it on the market, but I don't, but I don't know where. Okay, let me help you out. Um, where is that teddy bear? It's, uh, it's actually right here. <laughs> this is not a walkthrough video. It's just like I've done this so many times. Hey, I'm trying to get past like a certain point and make some progression so I can like actually uh, flesh out these this video series. Oh shoot, I found your bear. Great, thank you so much. You found Teddy. Um, and show everybody. What? Ah, come on. Hang on. Hey, what's up? Good, good, good. I found your bear. Please don't walk away when I'm trying to talk to you. That'd be really cool. Uh, you can have it. 
Thank you so much, mister. Okay. And so, yeah, like, I really just kind of want to make some videos on this. I think this game has... Okay. Sorry. Uh, this game has um, a lot of potential. Okay, so we got a shovel from her. Uh, I think this game has a lot of potential. Um, it's unique. It's kind of quirky. I like the graphics are not, like, uh, cutting edge. You know, it's it's one dude developing it. Um, and I always... I always enjoy games that give up graphics for gameplay. Always. I'm not sure if anyone played uh, Duke Nukem 3D. There's a zombie up there. Or um, Wolfenstein 3D, the original Doom. Those were all, like, really bad graphics. We've come a long way since then. And, um... And so, yeah, you know, while, like, a pretty game is great to play and, and all that, um... I really enjoyed the, the good gameplay more than awesome graphics. Our health bar is in the bottom. Uh, it regenerates automatically. I'm not sure if we have three lives up there. <laughs> That's new to me, but, um... Yeah, level one in the top left is where I'm looking. We got some metal parts, another box. Destroy some crates in good old Half-Life fashion. Uh, okay. I have really strong legs because, um... Yeah, I didn't think I'd jump that far out. The, the ground is still a little bit sticky. You can see some objects are not... Um, it, it's not completely polished off, but it's definitely way more playable than it used to be. Um, the game isn't broken. I think this is um, an excellent early access start right here. Um, like I said, the developer fixed a lot of stuff. Oh, come on. A lot of stuff. Can I just go like this? Yeah, a lot of stuff within like the first few days of release. So to me, that's always very promising. This is um, the developer's baby. And they want to make it into something that, you know, it's it's a product. It's fair. Let's shoot some let let's shoot some hoops. I don't want to. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna close I need this to find thing off. Some metal parts for this. So we found those two boxes of metal parts on top of crates. Um, so I you need two to close each one off. Please don't die, Rosie. Come on. I think she's gonna die. Oh, good timing. Okay. And then um, we got our. Pseudo swastikas up there. Um, let's see. What is the handgun? Is five. I think this. Yep. Oh, and I just killed some people. Dang it. <laughs> then. Scream, bitches. Scream. Okay. So it costs money to revive people. Oh, if you're given the opportunity to, the option. This. This person's just down forever. Okay. Oh, Rosie. Rosie, no! No! Okay, we'll get her up. There you go. So it does cost money to revive this looks people. Like fun. I think it's uh, two fifty, which, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think is very much. Um, but it's good, right? Because if you let NPCs die, uh, there should be a penalty, or you know, some kind of incentive to not let them die. Gas, give me all the ammo and granatas. What is that? Um, got four grenades now. So there's another pit over here. Um, it's uh, this a, looks like a trap. A biter entrance. Ouch. Dang, it's like it's hard. Yeah, we're not messing around. Let's see. So here's the butcher. What can I do? Yeah, what can I do for you? Where am I? You're at the best butcher in all the wasteland. You should really try some. How's business? I'm the butcher of this town. People come from far away to taste and buy my meat. I don't want to brag, but my meat is a uh, lot extraordinaire. Delicieux. Um, sounds good. These are very busy times for me. I hardly have the time to get some ingredients. I mean, uh, some household products. Can I help? Yeah, sounds like a good quest. Well, maybe you can. I'm looking for bug spray to kill uh, some flies. Yes, yes. Do you know where to get, where to find some? Um, I'll take a look. Yeah, I found some chemicals for that already up by that greenhouse where they're growing marijuana. Great, you have some bug killer spray. Excellent. Can I have it? Um, sure. Thanks. 
good deal. Can we go? Anything else? Uh, yes, yes, I ran out of color powder. I need some red pigments for uh, um, painting the cellar. Yes, I am painting downstairs. Okay. Don't have the time for that. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, for painting. Painting the basement. Okay, I'll see if I can find some. Hmm. Find the pigments. Okay, so how much... We have a lot of ammo for the pistol. I'm not gonna... Holy cow. And... Oh, his head fell off. Your head's off? Um... Yeah, one thing um, I've kind of noticed is that you don't do more damage when you What's hit zombies in the head. And so there's not really any reason to aim for their head because it actually uh, sometimes just doesn't work. Like, gotcha. you should have obviously hit them in the head, but it doesn't quite work. That's fine. Just go for body shots. Everything will work out. Again, it's really access. It's, you have to give it a pass on some things, right? Hit that box. All right, money. What do we, $750 now. It's decent. Um. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on there. That's all right, I guess. Just kill some zombies. Oh, jeez, I'm dead. Um, from what? That was really quite a surprise. Uh. The smell of fresh zombie farts in the morning. <laughs> I really do like um, those Duke Nukem type like things where he just kind of comes in with some random badass witty banter. Or, you know, it's kind of funny, quirky, silly. I don't know about badass, but it's like uh, Duke Nukem used to say, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. It's cheesy, right? But it gives the game some very unique flavor oh that guy's Jimmy hey Jimmy what's up bro Jimmy thanks for helping me boomer so where is it what is where is what the ammo cache we're talking about what are oh that <laughs> okay uh well Okay, next to the something or other, I took too much time reading it. Dig up the grave for ammo. Okay, there's a blue line where two things didn't quite meet up right. Get some ammo here. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Um, dig up a grave. This looks promising. Turn off maybe this electric fence. Get an access card to open this. Okay, let's see. Well, um, well, okay, that was more confusing than uh, functional. I don't know what the heck that was about. Can't jump up there. Okay, we're going to try to make it all the way across that thing. No, the bad timing. It's all right. So, we want to get up in that treehouse. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to come over here, and let's see how we get... No, no, we were in the right spot, weren't we? Brutal. This will be the shotgun. I know, I don't know how many... Oh, there's um, an exploder guy. You know, there are some other bugs I'm sure you're witnessing uh, watching these videos. Um, I've gone over that stuff a lot in my other videos. You can check them out. Um, this isn't so much about that. I actually just kind of like want to make content about this game because it seems um, like it's got a lot of promise and it's a lot of fun so far, especially after all the bugs. Have, most of the bugs have been fixed. Um, I'm kind of tired of that guy though. So we're just going to run straight out here. No jumping or anything. We got the shotgun. Hopefully that guy does his thing. He's an exploder, so he's got a gas tank on his back and then he just kind of Kamikaze, he's real close to you, and then it hurts if you get hit by it. Um, where are you, big guy? There you are. I guess... What? Yeah. Some things are not working, but we didn't die, so that's what counts, right? 
Um. Oh, you go. Okay. Oh, we're, we're out of here. We're gone. All right. Like that, that stuff happens. Where did that guy even come from? He just kind of was there, sprinting at us, full speed. And then, um, I think seven is shotgun, yeah. <laughs> Howdy! Sure, what is going on? They're kind of they're dropping out of that tube. So I think we picked up enough metal parts to close it. So we'll do that while we're here, and then we're gonna switch over to the pistol. Close this thing up. I need to find yeah. some metal parts there for this. There we go. Good deal. Good deal. Okay, so um, this is good. This is good. It's not, it's not 100% fixed, but it's also in early access, so I don't expect it to be. Um, this is a good stopping point here for this video. We are, uh, I think, this is the most promising playthrough I've seen yet. Um, so yeah, again, this, this game, it's in the top right. It's called Team Z. It's early access beta. It's pretty cheap on Steam. I think it's got a lot of promise. Still need some development, but I think the, um, the one-man development team uh, really has what it takes to do it quickly. So this is Atlas Gaming. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. Talk to you on the next one.